Hey, this is Man Made Mead. We are on the third, um, third round of our tournament. So, uh, jumping right into it, just to remind you guys what's happening with this. We started off with 16 meads, eight on each side, to show you. 16, we had, uh, this is the board currently, we had eight on each side. We eliminated it down to four on each side in the last video. Uh, well, excuse me, we limited it down to two, really, and in the previous video we did that. But now, today's video, we are in the second to last round, which means we have these four that are up to see who is the top of them all. Uh, so, we have left, and you should go ahead and get that on and put your bets, get in the comments, let me know what you think. I want to know, I want to see who's, who's right, ultimately, without going back and editing your comments. We are left with the number eight. The number two, the number five, and the number three. And I will make sure and put, you will know, even including these meads on the outside, what meads are what right now. Um, but ultimately, what I want us to, what you will see right now is that the real names of these. I don't know what meads these are. And I've said that in previous videos too. I don't know exactly. I gave them different numbers so I wouldn't know. Part of it is to test my knowledge of my own meads and to see how much I know. We're going to start off on this side of the board with our second to last round. This is where I get really nitty gritty because this is the hard, hard stuff. Eight and two. These are our two numbers. So starting off with those, the eight and the two. All right, this is, this is the hard part. Um, like I said, now suddenly I, uh, I got to be really, really picky and I like these beads a lot, which is going to make this even harder. So. Uh, Let's get started. I, I, I uh, this is gonna be hard. This is uh, uh, number two, I should say. I'm gonna try the number two. Give you a comparison of colors. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the Boche. I still haven't figured out what this one is. So, uh, bad on me. Oh, no! Oh. This one. It's not. It's a fruit, mellow mel. No, it's not. It's a... Oh, I don't know. I just know it's good. I gotta work, I'm working on my, my flavor right now. I'm getting used to tasting all these different meads. Oh, gosh, this is hard. This is a... What is this? I don't know. It's got a sweet uh, taste to it. Uh, it does kind of taste like a traditional meat, but I have a feeling it's a mellow meal. Um, it is still like that sweet taste is what I really like ultimately. And uh, man, I don't know. That's, that's a good one. Next up is the eight, which I'm fairly certain is the Boche. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. Ah, this is so good too. Man, I'm struggling big time. I knew this would happen when I started to do this. I knew I would have trouble um, when I got to this point. Oh man, this is hard. I gotta say, I gotta give it to the number two, you know? I don't know what it is. You'll know uh, before I do. Well, I'll know before you ultimately, but you'll know right now what it is. Uh, number eight, the Boche, it's good, but it's really good. But I gotta give it to number two. And then number two moves on to the grand finals. Oh, this is hard, this is hard. Okay, we're moving on to the last round. Whatever this is, just moved on to the grand finals. I don't know, I wish I knew what it was, but I don't. We are left with the number three and the number five, the last two. And, oh, oh, this is getting difficult. I know that these meads are gonna be good. I know, I know how they are. So let's just do it. Let's see. All right, here we are. The second to last round. The other last two we have, the five and the three. Now, um, 
Like I said before, I didn't have the same glasses, same, same size glasses, so unfortunately I did this. Let's see what these taste like. Oh, I'm gonna start with the five this time. Oh no, I haven't even tasted it yet. I know, it's gonna be good. Ah, oh, I dread, oh gosh. Peppermint bean, I love it, I love it, it's so good. It's um, that peppermint taste pokes right through. It's hard to beat. It's hard, hard to beat. Okay. Number three. Let's see. No, oh, no. Ah. My favorite meat, well, my first favorite meat I ever made was the apple cinnamon, which is this guy right here. Still so good. Still that cinnamon flavor pokes through. It's really funny that the peppermint and the uh, cinnamon somehow got paired up which I didn't say this earlier, but I did not arrange these to fight against each other in any sort of way. I just sort of mixed them around. And this is the end product. So, of this two, of these two. Hmm. Cinnamon's good. Man, I gotta give it to the peppermint meat. This peppermint meat is just so, I've liked it since the start, it's aged well. This is aged well too, but I think that this ultimately uh, trumps it. So, number five moves on. Wow. All right, that is the end of the third round. Um, we got one more round left. This is the grand finals next video. So, uh, stay tuned for these next uh, this next video is the final one of the series. There are only four videos. Hopefully you've watched the other three. Place your bets. Let me know where you're at, how you're faring with all this stuff. I'd love to know who went out early and who uh, who's still in the game, realistically. So let me show you the board and then uh, so you know exactly what you're dealing with. On this board, uh, I'm going to make sure to place all the other numbers so you will know exactly what's going on with these guys who went out early, who went out, who went out and who we're left with. So right now we are left with the number two and the number five. And I can't, I can't say it enough. This is, this is hard. These meads are, are great, 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 great meads. And I can't say enough about, about them. I am just, I am just uh, suck realistically because they are just, just great. So, um, Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. There will be a last video for this, and then I have plenty more ideas. I'm going to bottle these into smaller batches and then save them. Have a mead tournament of 2019 or 2020 something and see who, how these still fare, um, ultimately. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter, at ManMadeMead. Um, and just follow me there. I post stuff. You can get some behind the scenes videos and stuff of what's happening here, and other videos, stuff like that. So, next time, we will decide who is the man-made mead tournament champion. And, uh, oh, I'm excited. This is gonna be, gonna be good. Stay tuned for next time. I will see you then. Cheers.